Draw brick pillars and a flat roof structure. In this exercise, you'll gain some experience of using the direct modelling facilities within Vectorworks to create a simple structure. Extrude the first pillar. Your model should still be in a 3D view. If it's not, activate the saved view Lower Garden Hardscape. Make Walls Brick the active class. Locate the small rectangle in the top left quadrant of the garden, the one labelled to become a pillar for the green roof. Choose the rectangle tool from the basic tools and on the toolbar choose the first mode. Note the push-pull mode at the end of the toolbar. This mode should be on by default. If it isn't, turn it on. Trace over the existing rectangle by clicking on one corner and then on the diagonally opposite corner. Move the cursor onto the face of the rectangle. It will highlight in red. Click on the face and move the cursor up to push-pull the rectangle into an extrude. Press tab and in the data bar type 3000 millimeters. Press enter on your keyboard and then click to complete the extrude. Mirror the pillar. The pillar will remain selected. Choose the mirror tool and mirror the pillar through the center of the path. Using the selection tool, select both pillars and then use the mirror tool again to mirror through the center of the path on the opposite axis. You will now have four pillars around the centre of the paving. Using the Render menu on the view bar, choose Fast Renderworks to see the pillars rendered. The textures set up in the Walls Brick class have been applied because the extrudes have been created in this class. Note if you don't have Renderworks, you won't have any textures, but you can still render the scene with OpenGL to see solid colours. From the Saved Views menu, activate the Saved View Lower Garden Hardscape to restore the view and the OpenGL render mode. Extrude the roof. Make Wood the active class using either the View menu, the Classes button on the View menu or the Navigation palette. Click Rectangle on the Basic palette. Hover the cursor over the top surface of the leftmost pillar in the 3D view. Notice the automatic plane detection spring into action again, colouring the top surface blue. Click on the outermost corner of the rectangle and then draw a rectangle across all four pillars to form a flat roof. Click on the surface of the new rectangle and pull the rectangle up. In the blue data bar, type 500 millimeters, press enter on your keyboard, and then click the mouse to complete the extrude. On the toolbar, click center to corner mode. Hover the mouse over the center of the top surface of the roof extrude to obtain a center snap point. Click on the center and move the mouse toward a corner. When the data bar appears, press Tab and enter 1500 millimeters in the X field. Press Tab to move to the Y field and enter 1500 millimeters. Press Enter on your keyboard to fix these values and click to draw a rectangle slightly smaller than the original. Make a solid subtraction. Move the cursor over the face of this new rectangle and click to start the push-pull process. Move the cursor down, press tab and enter minus 420 in the data bar. Press enter on your keyboard to fix the value. Hold down alt on your keyboard and then click to complete the operation. This will cut the new extrude from the original and create a solid subtraction. If you have Renderworks, render the scene with Fast Renderworks, 
notice that the wood texture defined in the wood class has its grain running vertically, which is not desirable in this case. Remember that without RenderWorks, you won't be able to render with RenderWorks modes and you won't see any textures in OpenGL. With the solid subtraction selected, click on the Object Info Palette's Render tab. Scroll down until you find the Rotation field and type 90. Press Enter. The texture will rotate 90 degrees. Change the view to top plan. Create the 2D plan view. The structure is complete in a 3D view, but in top plan it doesn't display any fills, unlike the other objects on this design layer, which are both 2D and 3D. Now you'll learn how a 2D plan view of a 3D model can be generated automatically. Make Fixtures Main the active class. Click the Selection tool. Click and drag around the structure to select all its elements. Choose Landmark, Architectural, Create Auto Hybrid. Notice that Vectorworks has created a 2D plan view of the structure. Currently only the pillars of the structure are visible on the plan. Notice on the Object Info palette that the cut plane is set to a height of 1000 mm. On the Object Info palette, change Cut Plane to 3200 mm. The 2D display is updated to show the structure as it looks at the new Cut Plane height. Notice that the Cut Plane displays in the colours of the original objects, in this case derived from their classes. Save your file, but keep it open, we'll continue working with it.